This is my Honda 2007 Honda Element. I would like to show you my complete build out that I've spent the last couple months finishing it up and actually testing it out while I was out west in Utah, Moab, Colorado. It worked really well. So I thought I'd share it with you. All right, let's go look at the passenger side and see what I have done. So basically, I built a wall unit in here to hold my clothes, bath supplies, basically whatever you need to survive. When I need to get to my cooler while I'm out, I just have a small, little Camp Zero cooler that I keep in here. Doesn't keep things cold for very long, but most of the time I'm eating out anyways. I just store that thing right under here, under the mattress. I have a oh, underneath lighting. In case it's nighttime, I could just turn on this little light switch right here and I have plenty of light just to get into there. And basically that's it. That's travel mode, just for around town. Got my bike rack here. I ride an e-bike, which a lot of people don't like, but this is my rack I designed for to hold a small generator to charge the bike while I'm on the road. Works really good. I'll do a late, later video on that, how I set that up. This is the inside of the rear compartment. Like I said, I mountain bike, so I was able to design this to hold all my gear, my shoes, my helmet, whatever I need. So I have containers under here. I also have more lights under here just to get to in case it's dark. So this fits nice and snug out of the way. And it's pretty compact and it works really well for what I need. Normally I have my mattresses in here, but I've been actually working out of my car. So I have eight inch memory foam mattresses that I've designed in three sections. So I designed this to hold my, my backpack, my bike pump, this little small shelf actually comes out. So I have plenty of leg room here if I need to slide a bike inside of here. But actually, while I'm camping, I actually keep this in place. Locks in place, I notched it. My mattress sits here all the way down and I actually use this for holding blankets or extra pillows. So it's not got me all cluttered over here. What I have for like night, I have a mirror that I use here. You know, nice ladies mirror. Putting contacts in or brushing your teeth. So basically I take this out and I just go ahead and move it out here. And I actually have two pull-out trays that I can put all my stuff on. I can put my I put a little bowl here to brush my teeth, and this is where I keep everything. Toothpaste, a brush, whatever's needed to get through the day. And when I'm not done, when I'm done, I just put that away keep stuff in here. I use these fans to pull air from that window and I use this fan to pull from that window at night a little warm. And when I'm all parked in a nice camp spot, I have this all set up just to put my, um, my iPad on because I keep my pillow back here and I can watch television wherever I can get signal. And that works really well. So I don't have solar power on here, but I don't really need it because I found these little lights that I found at Amazon work really work really well. I don't need any other type of lighting. I have them in three sections. That lights up my clothes, this lights up the bath area with all the supplies, and this lights up the mirror. And they're basically cheap, run off of three batteries. You get like five or six of them for 10 bucks. A lot cheaper than a whole solar system. And there you go. Turn them off at night. These 
batteries have lasted me almost a year so far. The driver's side, I have set up. I have the insulation on the windows here. I have the insulation on the windows here. This is permanent, because I don't really need to see out of that side. It helps keep a lot of the heat out. So when I want to make breakfast or lunch, I've designed the kitchen. So I pull out, I have flip up shelves. And I have a second shelf. They all work off of latches that I got from Amazon. I keep all my spices, gas, pots and pans right in here. And then I have this little strap section right here. Just undo this. This is my water container that I keep all my water in, like washing dishes or cooking. And I found it really easy to just use a butane stove. That's all I use. Put a can of that in there. Every morning, makes coffee, makes my dinner. I have no issues with this thing. This thing works great. Pop it down. We got fire. It makes a pot of coffee real fast. And everything just pops out. Take your gas right back out, just close it up, put a lid on there. I store my gas over in here. And that's it. And then you can come in and pack it away. This does get a little warm, but you have to let it cool, but this hasn't really been burning long. And it's still cool enough just to put away. So usually this container is full of water and lasts me about two to three days. So I don't need much. So I store my tire on the roof because I took the floorboard out of the back of the element and I actually removed it and added a piece of three quarter plywood. So I turned the plywood deck into an actual storage bin where the tire used to be. So I keep stuff like jumper cables, tools in here, bike parts, step ladders to get on the side of the car if I have to get to the roof. It keep quite a bit of stuff down here. There's actual pumps in here for the tires. And it pretty much, pretty much hides itself when there's things on top of it. But that's a nice little extra storage. I can store quite a bit of stuff in there that's not needed. <laughs>